Welcome guys, let's look at uh, our combined science paper for November 2020 on question number 5. So, a box contains resistors of different sizes, 10, uh, that is the quantity, 10 uh, rated 5 ohms, then 12 are rated uh, 8 ohms, so we have 10 here, and then we have 12 of them are rated um, 8 ohms, and 8 are rated uh, 10 ohms, and uh, 10 are rated what? 15 ohms. Then the first question, state one way of representing data apart from this description. So the other way of representing the data is just putting it in a table form or tabulating it. Then calculate the percentage of the resistors that rated what? 15 ohms. So the percentage of the resistors that rated 15 ohms is 25%. So this is how we got it. And it can, first of all, to start my resistors in total mangan, right? So in total, the, our total uh, uh, my, my resistors edu total number it's equal to we have uh, 10 plus 12 plus 8 plus 15 so in other words they are about what uh, we have about 40 resistors we have 40 resistors so 10 40 resistors edu so for t find the percentage of resistors ano rate what 15 ohms and it so ano rate 15 ohms anga mangan 10 saka tine ta kuti 10 ndizo zvere over the total edu it's what 40 multiplied by what the percentage edu which is 100%. So then we get our answer is 25%. Is that okay? Then we look at another question. One side of a cube measures 6 centimeters. So a cube, it will be, um, it will be in this format. It will be more like what is known as a cuboid, and it. So all sides will be equal to 6. So we have the length and the width. We have the length and the width as well as what the height so is really equal to what to six. So then we are asked to calculate the volume. So volume yellow will be equal to what length times width times what height. Saka so it will be equal to six by six by six. And then that would give us what two hundred and sixteen. So it will be two hundred and sixteen cubic centimeters is that okay that was our answer then we go to see it see it give the most suitable instrument for measuring right the internal diameter of a test tube the internal diameter of a test tube let's say we have a test tube like we have this right let's say good this is like this uh this is a test tube here and we want to measure the internal diameter. The internal diameter here, that will be the diameter in the area cut. That will be the internal diameter. Is that okay? So, can I talk about we measure? We make use of um, internal veneer caliper. In other words, we are trying to say that the panapa is not the same and then it is able to, what? to measure the, the internal diameter. So, can if we are measuring internal, it's basically this. Then to my ends, we are going to choose a measure. Because the power is the internal, what? internal diameter. Is that okay? Then, can I add external diameter? Do you think we are going to like this? And then it tries to measure from the outside. Let's say it is going to happen. It is going measure from what? the outside so that would be the external what? diameter then we have the um, uh, number three do it's uh, said uh, measuring the uh, external diameter of a wire so panapa test tube here do it is different from a wire test tube was what this one was bigger are we together and this one is what is very small and it so if it is very small we will make use of a micrometer but taekwansa kushansa in on the instrument here do you know the external uh, veneer caliper but because of the diameter it inigate dik in the room the the diameter here we wired inigate dik dik saka we make use of what 
a micrometer such that we have a degree of accuracy in Engeri more precise than uh, using a an instrument you know tipa yes a reading but that reading would not have um, the degree of accuracy in Engeri very very precise